Hello everybody and welcome back to Talking Walls for a brand new transfer news and update video. We're into the final week of the January transfer window and still deals there to be had for Walls with players joining the club and players leaving the club over the next uh, six to seven days or so. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and be sure to hit the like button as well if you haven't already. It's been a busy window for Wolves and things aren't slowing down. It's going to be an intriguing and potentially busy end to the window with both players joining and leaving the club. So, first one being um, an imminent signing for Wolves is the goalkeeper Daniel Bentley from Bristol City. We spoke a little bit about this. Um, I think on a video last week or the week before about the goalkeeper potentially joining Wolves. Um, it was around Christmas when it was announced and reported by the Express and Star that Wolves were looking at potential goalkeeper options. Now, Daniel Bentley is set to sign. It's moved quite quickly, this one. Um, his contract was set to expire at Bristol City at the end of the season. Uh, he had a little bit of a falling out with the current manager there, Nigel Pearson. Um, but he was Bristol City captain, so there's definitely a player there. I think Wolves want to add his experience and leadership to the squad. And once that's officially announced, we've got a video lined up um, on the player as well to find out a little bit more about him as well. So Daniel Bentley is pretty much set to sign. His medical was due today, so an announcement could be within minutes or you know, definitely in the next 24 hours or so. I'm sure we'll see official confirmation of Daniel Bentley joining Wolves. I don't think he's going to... Um, pressure Jose Sar too much as of right now, but possibly in the next six to twelve months, Wolves will still keep their eye out on somebody that could, um, you know, push Jose Sar a little bit more for the number one goalkeeper spot. Obviously, with Bentley coming in, it allows uh, Mateus Sarkic to leave the club. Now he's uh, set to move to Stoke City on loan. Sarkic had a really good spell at Birmingham City last year. Unfortunately, ended a little bit prematurely with injury. So I think a move to Stoke City is good for him. I think if he has a good end to the season, Wolves may well look to sell him whilst his, his stock is fairly high. So a, a good move for him. Stoke City, a team um, just lacking a little bit of consistency, but a good side nonetheless. And obviously not too far away from the Birmingham and Wolverhampton area, which Sarkic has been used to for so long. Now we go back on to the Jao Gomez uh, saga. This has been going on for weeks now and it is going to carry on. I assume it's going get, to get run quite close to the deadline. Um, there's been so many if, buts and maybes about this signing. Obviously the information we already knew is that Wolves had an offer, pretty much agreed in principle and Leon came uh, to try and hijack it. Leon's offer was higher than Wolves. Um, Flamengo really wanted to for, for Jao Gomez to join Leon, but Jao Gomez wanted to stick to his word and come to the Premier League and join Wolves. Now, things seem to be moving slightly better in Wolves' favour now. The player is adamant that he still wants to join Wolves. Leon have had representatives and directors out there trying to convince Jao Gomez to move to the French club, and it still has not happened. It's been reported by some sources in Brazil that Jao Gomez has told the uh, Leon representatives that he does not want to join them. And other reports uh, from Brazil today, including O Globo, have said that Wolves are looking to match the Leon bid just so Flamengo can get it done and sorted. They've got a really important Super Cup match coming up, which Jao Gomez is not part of the preparations for. They know, they're resigned, that he's going to be leaving the club. Um, and it said by Saturday they want this solved. So over the next day or so, I can see this one really accelerating. Jao Gomez potentially going to be the, a new Wolves player. And if Wolves do match that Leon bid, it was around sort of 18, 19 million euros. Other players, now uh, Fabio Silva, it's been doing okay at Anderlecht, to be fair. That loan has been now cut short and he's moved uh, to PSV Eindhoven in the Eredivisie uh, in, in the Netherlands. Really looking forward to seeing how Fabio Silva gets on at PSV. Really intrigued. Um, their manager right now is Ruud van Nistelrooy, one of my favourite players growing up actually, but a deadly striker. So it'll be interesting to see what Fabio Silva can learn from him. And I think in quality, it's a slight step up from the uh, the Belgian league as well. Anderlecht's not had a great campaign and great season. And this is what Wolves keep an eye on, you know, looking at a team's progress, looking at a team's play style and want to make sure our players are playing at the best level and play style that, 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 that will suit them. Um, alongside of that, Kiana Hoover, was who was out on loan at PSV, has returned to Wolves. It said that he will be going back out on loan in the next week or so before the deadline, but PSV have paid a loan fee for Fabio Silva, which effectively covers the wages for Kiana Hoover. So Wolves 
have a little bit more flexibility on where they can send him out on loan. But apparently there's no ill feeling between Keanu Hoover and PSV, but for one reason or another, it just didn't work out. Um, Connor Ronan as well, he has now officially left Wolves, had many years of service at the club, but never really in the first team picture properly was he. Lots of loan moved, moves out, had a really good spell in Scotland last year, but he's going over to America. Colorado Rapids have officially signed him now, he'll rejoin former Wolves player Jack Price as well, who's uh, I believe he's captain at that club at the moment. So best of luck to Connor Ronan on his move to Colorado Rapids. Looking at a couple of players as well that Wolves have uh, been linked to very early days on some of these, but Tarek Lamptey seems to be out of favour a little bit at Brighton at the moment. He's a potential option for Wolves to sign on loan, according to the Mirror. Very talented player. I think this would be a great signing for Wolves, but Leon also said to be interested uh, today as well, so maybe we'll keep an eye out on his movements over the next week or so. Uh, another right back Wolves have been linked with is Ethan Ingram, currently playing for West Brom, predominantly in their under-21 setup. He's a very talented young fullback, moving into the last 18 months of his contract now, so possibly weighing up his options. I believe QPR are also interested in him, but Wolves also said to be keeping an eye on him. Very highly rated, wouldn't be a first-team uh, figure, I don't think, but uh, uh, definitely worth keeping an eye on him over the rest of this window and possibly going into the summer as well. A couple of low moves that you may well have missed or uh, permanent moves, including this one, is uh, another player who is actually staying in America. Leonardo Campana was out on loan at Inter Miami for the last year or so. Had a really good spell over there. Uh, they had a pretty favourable uh, clause in the contract to sign him. I uh, believe it's a few million uh, pounds and they've activated that. So we'll sign him. A lot of people know I've got a signed Wolves Campana shirt. I think it's, uh, it's it's in the many frames behind me there. Eventually, it will be hung up in the new office when that uh, when that's all sorted. But yeah, a player never really given an opportunity at Wolves, but Wolves have made profit on him. And uh, yeah, Campana to Inter Miami is official. And uh, Fio Corbanu, uh, who was out on loan this season, um, he'd been at a couple of spells last year at Sheffield Wednesday. That was cut short in January, and he joined um, MK Dons. He came back to Wolves this summer and had a loan spell at Blackpool, um, where he's done okay. But Wolves have ended that, and uh, they've gone. He's gone to uh, Schweiz Bundesliga side Armenia Bielefeld. So quite an interesting loan move going to the second division of Germany. Um, really intrigued to see how Kulbanu gets on out there. And uh, finally, Wolves have also appointed a new uh, doctor. Obviously, we had um, Doctor. Uh, Chakaverti before Christmas, he left Wolves and uh, Lopetegui has brought in his own member of staff. This man is Dr. Franček Drobnik, um, had formerly been uh, a club in China and one of the chiefs at uh, in the Barcelona medical uh, department as well. So obviously someone with rich experience in this field. And let's hope Wolves' fitness issues get a little bit better. No real news on a new number nine striker as of yet, guys, unfortunately. It will be interesting. It looks like they may well be hoping that Mateus Cunha can be that man. Not necessarily to score all the goals, but try and add that creativity to get more goals to the likes of Pedence, Huang, Adama, Sarabia, you know, whoever else is in there. Because I think it's not just down to one player. We do need to see more goals um, from other players, but... I think we all know a number nine would go a long way to helping us try and stay in this division. Only 12 goals so far in the Premier League this season and no real links to uh, to one of those. But that's all for today, guys. Do let me know your thoughts uh, on any of the players or news that we've spoken about today. Be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And of course, when players are confirmed or closed, we'll keep you guys updated. So be sure to keep your eye out on the channel and turn those notifications on as well. Until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all very, very soon.